Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to show you guys how to create a loading screen on Gary's Mod. Now, I'm doing this an easy way, I'm going to use the Coding Beast loading screen generator. Uh, I'll do another tutorial how to make a loading screen soon, but for now we are doing the uh, Coding Beast's uh, loading screen generator. Uh, so first of all, if you click on Modify, if you go to this website Login and come down here to Manage, and then click on Create, create New up here and click on modify element uh, you can give it a title so that's the server title so we'll just call it gmod server uh, is it public? no we don't want anyone else to be able to download this uh, we have to keep the branding on and we have to download display equals uh, hidden um, so that's that saved uh, there's also lo loads of different things that you can do uh, to make it different and unique um, so I'm just going to mess around with some of these um, different styles you can also change your own, create your own music and stuff like that, uh, but I'm just going to leave it like this for now just to make it easier. So if I click on save here, it's going to come up and I can preview it. Here you can see Gmod server, basic rules, and we have the song as well. So basically, this will display the Gmod server name. So name is Gmod server. Um, the map, this will be unique. Uh, slots will be unique. Game mode will be unique. Player information, that will be unique. Steam ID will be unique. And obviously we've got the song. Also we've got all these rules, etc. And we have this tag down here. Like I say, we will do a video tutorial on how to create your own loading screen, but for now this just makes it a lot easier. So if we click on get element code, it's going to see it give us this code here. And if we go over to our Gmod server um, thing here, if so this is the Gmod server. I'm using not just networks, definitely recommend going with them. Like I say, they're probably one of my favorite uh, hosts. Now you go to config files, uh, go to server.cfg. And obviously you've got all this information here, including your host name, your like Arcon password and everything. Uh, this line here is F is the, the line we want to replace. I already have a loading screen, but I'm going to replace it just for you guys. So just paste in this code and save it. Next, what you want to do is just copy the, um, the link and restart the server. Give it a couple of minutes to restart because obviously it takes a while for the server to re, uh, reload everything. And I'm just going to connect. Simple as that. Really, really easy tutorial today, guys. Uh, we now have a unique loading screen. If we oh, we need to update the server. Um, and I'll just do that quickly and then I'll resume. Okay, guys. So we're now connecting to the thing here. As you can see, it displays the map name. Uh, this is what we set. This is my username, my Steam ID. Uh, it is a 20 slot server and the game mode is Trouble in Terrace Town. So it's absolutely awesome. We've got everything written down here. And the loading screen is set and ready. With the music as well. So if we wanted to edit certain things, we can do that. Change the server name. And I'll just copy and paste my server name. And paste it in here. Save that. And there is also a lot of other things that we can edit, including the layout, the theme, uh, music, background, etc. Um, so if we wanted to change the music, we can do so. And we can create an element. We can only create certain elements, and if we wanted any more elements, we have to pay for them. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going with the Coding Beast, it's just an easy alternative for a loading screen. Uh, but like I say, I'll be doing a how to create a custom loading screen video soon. You can also go to the theme and choose a default theme. Uh, background as well. Although the Half-Life 2 background is pretty awesome as well. And I believe you can edit the rules. So if we qu click on create a new here. And we can type in all the rules by editing this. And we just want to call this rules. Um, and then we can just write some of the lines of lines of... Um, don't RDM stuff like that and basically you just write loads of different things in here 
like so. And just save that. Now if we go back to manage, go to modify element and click on where it says content and we can see this has been updated. Save. And then if we preview this, you can see all the rules have changed. As well as the map name. So there you go, that is pretty awesome. The Code and Beast is good, it's just not unique. A lot of loading screens are look looking like this these days. So I want to show you how to create a fully custom one. I'll do that very soon for you. Uh, hopefully this has helped though. So now we have our awesome loading screen on our server. And yeah, it's pretty sweet. Okay, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next one.